Ladies and gentlemen, lovers of progress, development, and education in Nigeria, especially here in the Southeast, something big is happening in a Boeing state. And I just thought it wise to bring it to your notice because just last year, this was merely a bold announcement from the Boeing state government. Many doubted it, some even laughed it off. But today, we have solid proof that dreams do come true when backed with genuine political will and action. Yes, we're talking about the University of ICT located in Oferepe, Agbaja, Ebony State states. When Governor Francis Obanawi first mentioned the plan to establish the University of ICT in Ebony State, not everyone took it very seriously. And let's be honest, who would blame them? In a country where many political promises end as just mere headlines, it was easy for critics to dismiss it as another political stunt. Some even said, where is the funding going to come from? Others asked, why a new university when the existing ones are underfunded? And a few even said it's a good idea but probably at the wrong time. But fast forward to today, yes, May 14th, just one year later, and the story has changed, not just changed, but transformed. Taking a good look at the site, you see how beautifully well the buildings are springing up. The National Universities Commission, NUC, has officially approved the University of ICT as the 66th state university and the 278th university in Nigeria. Let that sink in. Ebony State is now home to one of the most futuristic universities in the country. A university that is going to focus on information and communication technology, the very backbone of the modern global economy. And it's not just a paper university. The site is booming with development. The Senate building is almost ready. The faculty blocks are standing tall. Student hostels are springing up beautifully. The library, the staff quarters, and other academic buildings are all at different stages of completion. This is no joke. This is real, very visible, structural progress on the way. Governor Winfrey is not just talking, he's really, really working. The University of ISIS is going to change the game for our children, our students, and let's give it all for the man making all this happen. Governor Francis Oguna Wifu. Whether you like his politics or not, facts are facts. He's doing something most people never believed was possible in such a short time. He's investing in the future, he's prioritizing education, and he's even placing a boy state on the global map of digital innovation and ICT excellence, right? The world is really changing and countries are building digital economies by the day. Also, if you remember vividly, last year when this university was announced, there was also another ambitious promise, the University of aeronautic engineering. So far, we haven't seen much movement on that project. It's still in the pipeline, I guess, and the people are watching closely. To be fair, building one university in a year is already a Herculean task, but since the promise was made, it's only right to keep that conversation going because Eboyans are really hopeful and expectations are very high. But in the meantime, let's acknowledge the wins we're already seeing. A new university is not just a building project, it's jobs for construction workers, it's a new academic position, it's housing opportunities for staff and students, it's increased revenue for local businesses, it's growth, it's development, it's long-term economic impact. Can you imagine the number of young people in Ebony who will no longer need to travel to Lagos or even Abuja or even Ghana just to study computer science or data analytics or any course that has to do with ICT. They can now get world-class tech education right here at home. This is what visionary leadership looks like, right? So, to all the critics who said it couldn't be done, take a drive to Ophiriqui Agbaja today. See with your own eyes. The University of ICC is no longer a political promise. It's a living, breathing, rising institution. And to Governor Francis Obuna Winfuru, Ebony People TV says, well done, sir. We see the work, we see the vision, and most importantly, the people are seeing the results.